These are wavy brackets and they're for a dynamic array, which I understand is unique to Squeak Smalltalk. Now, if you go to the method finder and put in a single wavy bracket, it'll say, yes, there's something there, but it won't really tell you what it is. Put in two wavy brackets, it'll say, no, we don't know what you're talking about. If you look for a class called dynamic, it won't find anything. And if you look in the arrays class category, you will not find something that says dynamic array. Doesn't mean it doesn't exist. So this is how it works. At the top here, we've got a regular array with three items in it. You print it, you get exactly what you would expect. You go down a step there, and we've got wavy brackets and items with periods between them. We print that, and you get the same kind of array you just saw above. But the thing is that uh, a dynamic array executes before it returns. So if you put in something that needs to execute, it executes, and then it returns the a regular array. So we just executed that and got the time as a string. Separated by periods, we've got 4 plus 4. wonder what that'll produce. So we get a regular array as a return value, baz8666. So look for the wavy brackets. They're for dynamic arrays.